Okay, what do we have here? We have Tailwin again. Bras. And also we have birds. We have birds, man. Damn it, birds. Damn you, birds. I actually think it might lead with Reggie Rock though. What if he doesn't leave with Reggie Rock? If he doesn't leave with Reggie Rock, then we lost the game. Um, <laughs> Cause I think he sees this ice stuff, right? And that means he wants to bring he wants to bring Reggie Rock to counter the ice stuff. Uh, so he won't bring the the windy stuff. So what we should bring is he ran Tyranitar. I mean, he ran Cresselia. I think that is that is the play here. And we go with uh, Gastro and Gorilla at the back uh, for 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 the end game. Because I I firmly believe that he's gonna bring Reggie Rock uh, in Reggie Rock because of how how he plays the the snow stuff. There's no way he's gonna bring his Whimsicott stuff. There's no way. If he does. Then he's a god, right? But there's no way he should. Never mind. <laughs> ne ne just never mind. He's a god. <laughs> That's what this man is. He's a freaking god. Um. Okay. I think we gotta go for Trick Room here. He he might have Taunt here. So... I kind of want to go for a Protect, but what if he taunts me, it's going to be really bad. But I think Protecting is the safe play here. And then the turn after, we got to go with... I right, no Dynamax here. Flaker Sword comes out, okay, fine. Trick room, the trick room. Oh, he was so certain, man. Uh, what can I switch it, switch out into? Oh, we could have went for the heat wave there too. Um, I'm just gonna go for it again. I, I don't mind. <laughs> I actually don't mind. Uh, there's no way he's gonna go for it once again. Um, do we switch out though, or do we Dynamax? I think it's fine. I think we just go for Heat Wave this time around. Yeah, it's a little bit sad that he goes for it again, to be honest with you. But, like I said, I don't mind. This guy's just doing nothing. <laughs> I mean, if he's doing nothing, then I'm happy. I mean, I'm doing nothing, but I just killed his katana. I'd almost killed his Whimsicott too. He does get a free switch in, but he doesn't get double free switch ins. What do I do in this situation, Urshifu? Um, uh, to, to be honest with you, I'm just gonna go. F oh no, this is too good of a Moonblast to not go for it. So you do, you do whatever you do, okay? Um, Chrysalis, um, Whimsicott, um. This this is too juicy for me to turn down this moon blast. <laughs> this moon blast is too juicy for me to turn down, so I kind of had to take it. I can't believe he did it twice though. Like he he showed no respect and did it twice. Usually people give up after the first time. <laughs> but though he he went for it. Man, that didn't kill. Hopefully Heat Wave connects though. Nice, Heat Wave connects. <laughs> Yo, this guy is so confused, man. <laughs> He's so confused, dude. <laughs> like, just basically, like... Now he's got- now he's bringing his Regirock, okay. 
Okay, okay, okay. Um. No, he doesn't even want Trick Room at all. <laughs> uh. I think we just skill swap here. And we just go for Flash Cannon. Because it's Stab. I don't want to Dynamax this man. I want to Dynamax my Gorilla now. I mean, Rilla Boink. Uh, this Reggie Rock could potentially be pretty fast too. Because it, he has Tailwind to work with, so he might have a little bit of speed investment here. He also could go for max ground here too, so that's why I went for Steel Spike. I mean, Skill Swap. Wow, that does a lot of damage. Weakness Policy? Weakness Policy, okay. But if that did that much damage, that means uh, G Max. G-Max uh, drum solo should completely destroy this man. Okay, never mind. Glossy Glide should be able to get him, but you know, there's not a lot of times where <laughs> we we can see the drum solo, so we might as well drum solo this man. And then we have Gastro at the back too. Uh, I'm scared that it won't KO, that's why I'm going to drum solo. I'm gonna Dynamax, I'm not gonna Glassy Glide to make this quicker. Like, it, it is way better for me to just guarantee the knockout here. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Drum Solo this man. And Flash Cannon. I mean, if Flash Cannon did the half, this time it would do 25% because of the rocks. Giving that speed death boost. If you guys didn't know. Um, okay, so we should have this game um, sorted out here. Unless this guy has some kind of fire coverage or something. But we should be in a pretty good shape here. Drum solo, grassy surge. Even with that sweet 200 base, I don't think it's going to survive at half HP. Yeah, nice. Easy. <laughs> but grassy grind though might have not killed I'm actually, I, would, uh, I am a, a, a wary if it was going to survive that or not. But that was so funny how he just trick room the trick room and then I just pressed heat wave. <laughs> like the first time didn't really matter, right? Nothing happened. And then it basically the game started on the second turn. <laughs> and he just did it again. Like, damn, this guy's insane, man. Uh, okay, we faced this team just a little bit earlier. We got, comp I think we completely won against this opening with, because uh, he protected with Reggie Adiki. That's so weird. Uh, I think we're going to do the same thing again, to be honest with you. And uh, yeah, we, I think we're going to do it again. Shall we do it in a more elegant way though? Shall we do it in a more elegant way? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Interesting, wait, interesting way to point to point it out. Um, perhaps. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, let's go. <laughs> oh, why not? Oh, why not? Uh, he really doesn't have a ground type move though. So I kind of re I really want to have both the heat Heat rank Cresselia and Rillaboom. Let's go like this. I think this is what we opened up last time too. Yeah, I'm really loving Arc Assault. It's so good. Um, I think if this team had, I think I prefer the ver variant with Dragapult because it gives you like just a very hardcore like synergy with uh, the ice shards. Which I believe is. I think y you should be able to utilize that eye shot in one way or another. To proc weakness policy and stuff. He goes for Gorilla. Gorilla, Gorilla. Gorilla. Alright, so this is the first time <laughs> I'm considering Dynamaxing the, the Arctazol here. 
This is literally the first time I'm considering it. I'm considering it so hard. I like, I don't know. Like I don't know if I, I'm correct to consider this. Uh, Should I be considering this, to be honest with you? Uh, I'm also scared of the the switch here. Okay, I think he's gonna target the Arc Desult here, there's no way. In the, with a Max Flare, he's gonna fake out Max Flare into the Arc Desult. I think this is the safest play here. He could just go for Heat Wave too. But we'll see. Th th that was a 50-50 play, right? Uh, I was in such a bad lead that I, I think I needed to go for that risk because if I get this risk right, like we just win the game, basically. Oh, we lost. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> Easy game. <laughs> <laughs> Easy game. I thought we lost there because of that uh, that fake out. But he messed up. Target one guy, dude. Target one dude. Um, okay. Uh, we're gonna change the weather to fire. And then we're gonna double up onto the Togekiss afterwards. Uh, we're gonna kill this uh, Gorilla first. I mean, this Gorilla Boink. I think it's very important. Actually, we should have double targeted into the Togekiss actually. Because we might have proc weakness policy if it's the exact same team. Oh, he max guards. I'll take that. Golly thick. Max Flare comes out, nice. Okay, now we're Flash Fire boosted, uh, in Sun, Stab, and he has no Max Guard. So we should be able to. We should be pretty good. He probably has that Ally Switch Dragapult around, um, if I remember this team correctly. Um, but it should be pretty decent. Lance. Dorian. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's got. He, 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 there's no. <laughs> there's no doubt in my mind that this is that ally switch. Uh, <laughs> that ally switch. Wait, wait. Do we still have. I don't know how flash fire works, so do we still have it? I don't know how it works, but. Um, I think we still have that boost, so let's go for it. But anyway, this is the safe play to go for anyway, because I don't want to proc that weakness policy. Goes for Phantom Force. Okay. No, no ally switchy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, awesome. Moonblast comes out. Lowers a special attack. That I, I'm getting a little bit lucky now, but uh, I had to go for that really huge gamble earlier. Otherwise, we, we would have completely got wrecked. Max Flare comes through. Let's see how much damage this does. Big damage, man. Big damage. Like, that's huge amounts of damage, boys. And here we go. We just gotta go for the Moonblast. Hopefully, we're still a little bit faster. Uh, we could technically go for Ice Shots here, but um, if that doesn't care, we proc Weakness Policy. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Actually, you know, you know what? I'm gonna go for the Double Up here. I'm gonna go for the ice shot double up, cause uh, it's very likely that my dude just dies here. And we're just gonna keep on max flaring, to be honest with you. He could also protect her. Oh my god! Oh, what a god! <laughs> what a ice shot god! Okay. 
Phantom Force comes out onto the big one. But he should be pretty much dead with the Max Flare. Yep, so quick, so quick. He ran completely runs over the team, this team, on that really good switch in. I'm surprised, I'm really, really surprised that he faked out the Ninetales and then, <laughs> and then he went for the Max Flare onto the Arc result. That doesn't make any sense at all, to be honest with you. But, you know, I'm glad that we got the victory here. Um, here we just don't want to miss here. Because Rillaboom at the back should be able to finish this up. I'm glad that he lets us finish off the game too. And here we go. Uh, close combat should be able to knock, her, knock us out. Yeah, but we have we we still have Moonblast and Ash uh, and Fake Out on our Rillaboom at the back too. But yeah, when they target Arctic, because I think it's super fast and super dangerous, they miss that Nine Tails is super fast and super dangerous as well. Oh wait, we still have Arctic. <laughs> <laughs> We still have freaking Arctazol. Uh, I completely forgot that the Arctazol is not even dead yet. <laughs> we swapped it out into a flash fire. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, I see you, I see you, man. <laughs> perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's just glossy glide into this. Battle was cancelled. Yeah, easy victory, boys. Easy victory. Yep, shows you the power of a hell lead, boys. Just completely runs over, and having he ran at the back really covers for the hell weakness of um, of steel, uh, fire, and yeah, they they cover for each other so well. He ran and um, hail really cover for each other's weaknesses super well. Hello, it is me you're looking for, Octa Zolt. Okay, hey guys, what's going on? We're back. Let's see what we got. Octo looks really, really good here, but... Um... There's Tailwind here. That is problem. That is problem, because there is Tailwind. Does he open with Tailwind, though? What does he open with? Cinderace Tailwind? I think he opens with Cinderace Tailwind. Let's go with Rila. Let's go with Octazolt. And who shall we have at the back? He doesn't look like he's got Earth Power potentially on Hydreigon. But other than that, it looks pretty safe. Um however Gastrodon looks too good to pass up here, I think. The Gastrodon looks way too good to pass up. Okay, let's go with that. Let's go with uh Ninetales, Rillaboom. Cancel out the cancel out any of the any potential tailwind i don't want no tailwind and uh, potentially get a big some big damage off as well with blizzard spam uh, after that we can switch into octazolt and go from there he goes with niheglo whimsicott okay I think this is fine. Uh, I think we are higher base speed than Nihagolo, so we should get a Blizzard off. He might even pass, give me a free. He might give me a free, something here. Let's see. Let's see if it's free. He might switch out into Thunderous and give it for free. Let's see. He's definitely Dynamaxing his Nihagolo. Oh, actually, nah. He has to. He has to Dynamax his Nihagolo. Why he has to Dynamax his Nihagolo is because he needs to change the weather. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. He didn't switch out, so that means his Whimsicott is is free for me. 
What we could have done here is also went out with Cresselia as well. But they had a lot of flying stuff, so I kind of needed to play against that. Okay. He protects. It's okay. It's okay, he protects. Freeze? No freeze? No freeze. Oh, he goes for ooze. Onto Rila. <sighs> Interesting. Uh, I think this is fine though. He has the max guard next turn anyway. Do I conserve? Oh, wait, can I even conserve? I actually can't conserve, can I? Yeah, I'm not allowed to conserve. Um, actually, probably boy max guard here. Yeah, there's no way he's gonna max uh, max guard. If he does, it'll be great. But like, if he doesn't, it's still okay. Um. Yeah, I think we just go for the. We go for the clear smoke. Max ooze onto Wimscott. This should uh, probably demolish this Wimscott. Um, if this was open team, team sheet, then I would never go for the fake out onto Wimscott. But you know, Wimscott sometimes don't carry protects. So, you know, it's the best of one thing. It's not too bad if we don't get that fake out plus um, Blizzard off. But in this situation, it's fine because he max guards, like, uh, as, as I expected. Ooh, he faked his though. Okay, that's a little bit interesting. For sure, for sure. That is a little bit interesting. It is on Sash as well, nice. Um, the fake tears is... The fake tears is, uh, is quite scary. It means we have to survive this. But we have Arctazol at the back. So Arctazol without, like, he didn't get able to get his Tailwind up. So that means Arctazol um, in the, at the back should be able to chunk. Should be able to chunk, I think. Because it looks like he's got a lot of flying things at the back. Or he's got his uh, juicy Hydreigon stuff. Okay. Mm, I'm still faster than him, so I can actually Moonblast this Hydreigon. And also go for a Max Quake onto this Knee Hair Glow. I think that's the safe play. Uh, there is, There will be a turn though. Oh, he's on Protect as well, so probably gonna kill the... Okay, usually, usually Hydreigon's on Assault Vest, but... It's fine. He's changing the weather. Okay, he's basically forfeited his... Hmm. This is gonna be a little bit difficult. I want- I really wanted to conserve the Nine Tails somehow. But this should be able to Oko, hopefully. Oh well, we're max with Rock for up. I don't think so. Ooh, plus one actually, plus run. Okay, okay. We might be able to survive this on the Nine Tails. Depending on how grassy terrain works, I keep on forgetting. We'll see. We have one more turn of Max though, which is great. And we have uh, the Dragon Slayer, which is the Arc result. Though it's it will never be faster than Hydreigon. So we might want to consider a Protector. It's in the race too. <laughs> hmm. I kind of just want to hit the blind blizzard here, to be honest with you. Um. Focus blast, dark pulse, Cinderace. What does Cinderace do? Okay, let's try to hit the dark, hit hit the blind blizzard. 
I'm all against this, but let's let's go. Let's try. Pyro Ball comes out. Yeah. We should have protected for sure. It was. I was thinking that the Cinderace might. He is either f gonna fly this turn, or he's gonna go for uh, something like that too. But we're back to neutral, so it's okay. Neutral defense here. What we have to do next turn, though, is. Is definitely recover, I think. Uh, we can't go for Earth Power, so we have to Scold as well. Well, if I... If I went for... Yeah, here we go. Barry up. Re oh god. Oh god. Dark Pulse flinches. Uh, that makes it definitely for sure a bit more interesting. That Dark Pulse flinches. He could pretty much win from that. But say it ain't so. Mm. Mm, when do we start attacking though? I don't think we have the chance to attack, to be honest with you. Because of that one flinch. That one flinch might have cost us the game. Because... If he high rolls a little bit... Oh. Oh! <laughs> Oof. Oof. 